Greetings everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of All Things Lambda, the community show that uh, has a camera that's almost out of battery I see. Uh oh, maybe I should have been more prepared, but I'm not. Typical. Anyway, I got a whole bunch of Half-Life community news for you right now, so um, let's get this camera turned off and let's get straight into the news. Let's go. Lambda Federation. We're starting this episode of All Things Lambda off with the introduction of a new mod that was released at the tail end of the last month. It's called Half-Life 2 What Remains, and it was mainly developed by just one person. Lumi Nickel spent about three years on the development of this Half-Life 2 Episode 2 mod, and the feature set that is displayed here on the mod B page shows where those years of development went to. The mod features two hours of gameplay with night levels and Alex now wears an HEV suit of her very own. And since the mod runs on map bays, which allows mods to make use of more advanced features, the car that you'll be driving through its Episode 2-like environments has actual functional headlights, which means that we'll definitely be driving through those night sections. Can't wait to turn what is love on on the radio and bop my head back and forward while me and Alex are cruising over the bumpy roads of what is almost White Forest. So where can you get this mod? Well, on ModDB of course, a link to download this new mod is in the description below. A patch has also been released that fixes something that has to do with a puzzle in the game, so it's recommended that you install that as well. We have gotten a lot of comments from you guys that we completely missed the release of Portal Reloaded. And you guys are very, very right. We did indeed miss that. But hey, here I am covering it anyway, even though it has been out for a little bit now. Portal Reloaded is a standalone portal game developed by Portanis. So what makes this game different from other portal fan games? Well, it's the fact that you now have a third portal. You got your two regular portals that work as expected, and you now have a time travel portal as well that allows you to go back and forward in time. This new gameplay mechanic adds a whole lot of new brain melting puzzles to the already perfect portal equation, creating an even bigger challenge. Seriously, I tried this game out and at some point I had to bust out the playthrough already, and I'm only 45 minutes into the game. Man, puzzle games are not my thing, I guess. Anyway, if you're up for the challenge, then I highly recommend you give this a try. Portal Reloaded can be downloaded for free on Steam. A link is in the description. I'm interrupting your regularly scheduled Half-Life Community News for some more Half-Life Community News. But this time, we got something to announce ourselves. If you've been following the Half-Life Community for a while, then you might know that the fan art scene is actually quite big. There are a lot of very talented artists in the Half-Life Community, and we feel like we should celebrate them just a bit more. That's why we have decided to collaborate with the Orange Box group over on DeviantArt and Twitter bot builder R2D2 Rigo to open the Half-Life fan art account over on Twitter. On this new Twitter page, we will share people's Half-Life fan art from all around the community. Our bot digs through DeviantArt to find good Half-Life artwork and even the DMs are open for submissions. So if you made a really awesome art piece and you want to have it featured on there, then feel free to share it with us. We'll make sure you're properly credited too. I left a link in the description so you can follow this new Twitter account. If you're really a big fan of art and especially art of the Half-Life variety, then this account is definitely for you. Now that we're in the fan art groove, let's get straight into some more fan art. This time, Milky is back at it again with a whole series of art that's actually quite original. It's still Half-Life inspired, especially Half-Life Alex, but there's a little bit more to this gallery of art. This art is actually concept art for a project that Milky has been developing called Ripcord. It's about a band of misfit civil protection units that are sent down to an underground facility where an infestation has occurred. They soon find themselves fighting for their lives trying to escape the colony of infected creatures that the Overmind has taken. The Overmind being the source of this infestation. 
That's the story that Milky has told us so far in a nutshell. Right now though, this project only really exists in concept art form. Milky isn't actually planning on doing anything beyond concept art right now either. However, he did mention to us that he's open to developing this further, maybe into some sort of Source Filmmaker series or even its own mod or game. I would actually love a game with this style set in the Half-Life universe. That would kind of be really cool. If you want to look at this fan art yourself, then go check out Ripcord's gallery over on Milky's DeviantArt page. It's linked down below. Oh no, watch out! The Combine suddenly becomes very real once you look at Combine Corner Cosplay's Half-Life Alex Combine Captain Cosplay. Okay, luckily the Combine isn't actually real, but this Combine costume sure is. It's being their first cosplay project, this is actually quite impressive. Pretty much everything is there, from the AR2 to the helmet and the logos on the plates on their upper arm. And you can even get the 3D print files for those items through Etsy links in the description of the video that I'm showing you right now. Something that might also be interesting is that Combine Corner is also looking to collaborate with other content creators to create Half-Life fan films, memes, and more. So if you'd like to hire them, then go and send them a message. They have a Discord server as well, so if you'd like to join that, it's linked in that video's description as well. The video that I'm talking about is available on Combine Corner's YouTube channel, and I'll link the video in the description below. Go check it out. Can you believe I still didn't charge my camera yet? I still didn't. This is all one take, by the way. Anyway, our social medias are linked down below in the description. Yeah, no segue today. I uh, really need to get this camera charged. Uh, our Twitter, our Facebook are both down there, as well as a link to our brand new Half-Life fan art account. So go check that out as well. You probably are gonna want to, if you like Half-Life fan art, of course. My YouTube and my Twitter are also down there, as well as the Landa Generation Discord server. I forgot to mention that, but that's also down there. So go check that out as well. And all that being said, I'm going to end episode 140 of All Things Lambda. Don't be sad, though. We'll be back next week with another episode. But in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and to ring that bell icon so you'll never miss another episode. Salutations and take care. Wow, I can't believe it actually made it. Oh, crap.